Real estate is primarily a solo occupation. It's highly competitive, even among agents that work in the same office. Although you may work under the same team name, the day-to-day -day business of real estate is done by an individual agent working alone with little interaction with his or her colleagues or supervisor. When it comes to safety in the industry, there needs to be collaboration, not competition, and this collaboration begins with safety. Brokers, supervisors, business owners, and team members must have solid, safe, and routine office safety practices that create a culture of safety within the industry. One easily implemented office safety practice is to demand that all prospective clients provide a copy of their state-issued identification before an agent meets them. This enables the agent to verify their identity, complete a new client information sheet, and check them through the sex offender registry. This new client information form should be provided to a designated supervisor or other responsible employee who tracks the agent's itinerary, start and return time, and serves as an emergency point of contact for the agent while they're in the field. Office managers should have contingency plans for medical emergencies, workplace violence, information security, suspicious walk-ins, and protocols for getting agents help in the field if they need a backup at a showing or at an open house. Additionally, managers should conduct regular realtor safety trainings where dangerous or suspicious encounters are discussed and debriefed with an emphasis on passing on the lessons learned and new policies or practices to prevent them in the future. Every agent in the field should know that there's a colleague or supervisor designated as their emergency contact while they're working. This designated person can also serve as a backup agent if the primary agent wants additional help during a showing or open house. Finally, every broker should provide a space for their agents to meet clients before going out with them, both to verify their identity and to create conditions where clients know that there are witnesses. This practice removes any sense of anonymity from a potential criminal and adds an additional barrier that a predator must expose himself to before targeting a realtor.